Hey gone guys, so today we're gonna be doing a uh, video on what's on my tackle bag. Now this is my tackle bag here. Um, before I start, it's just important to point out that um, pick the right tackle bag for you. Um, this one's pretty big. Um, I like it because it mainly fits everything that I have. Easy to carry, it's got really strong handles. Um, the only time where I actually wouldn't take this with me and I'll move only the things that I need to, attack, to a um, carry bag uh, backpack is if I'm going rock fishing and I know it's going to be a far walk um, so it's just a lot easier to carry a backpack and then have your rods um, better than carrying this so I'll uh, just go through um, we'll open this up and uh, just show you what's in my bag now all the stuff that's in here um, that's what I mainly use for fishing um, you don't have to go buying you know some of the things that I have um, just use what's uh, um, convenient for your actual fishing. So, starting off, um, got a uh, few doors here, um, ranging from, you know, um, we've got big poppers, um, some surface lures here, a few divers, these are repellers. Got some little poppers as well, big range of them. Um, some little ones here, repeller as well. Um, this one's pretty good on salmon and tailor. Uh, shallow, shallow lure. A few hooks here as well, um, three way hooks, uh, just in case I need to replace some. Um, few rings as well as some swivels <clears throat> squid jigs so big range of jigs there um, got almost every color Three point fives all the way to two O's and one point fives. Some more squid jigs. If it's in the uh, in the pack there, means I haven't used it yet. So uh, this is a uh, they were jig there. It's new. Some pink one. Um, I haven't used that yet. Chase baits. That's a uh, white jig there. They're pretty cool actually. They've got a bit of liquid running through them. Um, haven't used that either. Another chase bait one there. Some more lures. Nomad. It's 105. It's a pretty good lure on salmon. Soft plastics, big range of them there. I'm actually running low on uh, on soft plastics, so I might need to need to do a bit of a uh, top up. I mainly use the squidges and the gulp. Um, squidges are find really uh, really good. Um, works really good on flatties uh, and sometimes wilding as well. Snapper. Got a few gulps here. Uh, this one, was, this one's the uh, nuclear chicken, five inch there. See, man, white. That's really good on snapper. That one, uh, as well as kingfish. Another gulp there. Bad thing about gulp is, especially these packets here. If you don't seal them properly, they tend to dry up. So if you are using them off, uh, or if you are thinking of getting some, just make sure they're properly sealed. Some more gulps. This year I've got my uh, sinkers as well as a uh, big range of, uh, of hooks, snap swivels, swivels. Got a really big a uh, variety of uh, jig heads here. 
goes all the way from 3 eighths all the way down to these. Sinkers, I've got a really big range of uh, sinkers, some for surf, some ball sinkers for, as a running sinker, some to just use on the pier or the jetty. Um, and hooks, I've got a really big variety of them as well as uh, I keep some uh, hooks uh, for live baiting. So that's that there. Here there's just some surface uh, metal lures as well for salmon. As well as some uh, rod bells. These are actually pretty cool. Um, they're sinkers mainly for, for the surf. So what you do is you would flare these out and it will hold better on uh, in the surf with you know strong currents and waves that will just sit there on the bottom and, and grip better. And then you can just re-straighten them. Some surface poppers. Sorry, surf poppers. What else here? A float. This bag I tend to keep what I don't usually uh, use much. Some glow sticks, uh, a few small hooks, some pre-made uh, fishing rigs. So all I need to do is just connect the uh, sinker and the uh, yeah, just the sinker on them. And I usually just tape the the hooks with uh, some electrical tape just to keep them there. Um, it's pretty good if you're in a rush to, you know, put something on. But yeah, is that bag there? Some batteries for head torches. range there, uh, 10 pound, 100 pound black magic, 30 pound black magic, 60 pound, 80 pound, and 6 pound. Some electrical tape, sometimes you actually need that, like if you're carrying a lot of rods, um, you can just tape tape them together, especially if they break into half, so you keep them there nice, nice and easy when you're walking. Some balloons here for live baiting. I like to go with the color red, it's easy to see um, in the water, so it's wise to actually pick a color that stands out. torch, another head torch, and I've got the batteries for them, I've got extras just in case. A few pliers. Another head torch. And a uh, measuring tape. So guys, that's it for today's video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you liked it, please uh, hit the like button and um, subscribe to the channel. Thanks heaps and see you next time.